everybody. Welcome into a new episode of Inside Pitch here at the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. I'm Ben Fredrickson alongside Jeff Gordon. We're here to talk about a very specific number. This is our Sesame Street edition of Inside Pitch. The number is one. One, Gordo, is the percentage that Fangraph says the Cardinals have to make the playoffs. So on one hand, I think we should give the Cardinals some credit. We've talked so much about this stretch of seven brutal series of opponents they've been playing and Maybe we can cut the Mariners off of that. They're, they're falling out of the playoff race, and their fans are certainly disappointed with how they've played. Great pitching, no offense. Um, but the Cardinals played well enough during this stretch to actually not be eliminated from the postseason. However, the number one as a playoff odd, that, that's not good. And it's frustrating, Gordo, because they have played better. If they would have sort of played like this earlier in the season consistently, they'd be in a much better spot than they are now. That, which way do you which way do you, yeah, do you look at this? Yeah, it's the classic uh, half cup thing, you know, because it is frustrating to see a team. Now you're playing well, and you're seeing Paul Goldschmidt look more like Goldie. You're seeing Nolan Arenado looking more like Nato. I mean, great, and you're seeing you know some good efforts from some from most of your pitchers most of the time. So it's really not a terrible team. You know, last year was terrible when you sink to the cellar. So look, Ben Fred, we can look at the pump some sunshine. Okay, let's pump some sunshine. Uh, this is one of the most improved teams in baseball, Ben Fred. <laughs> but, let's, let's, this is like yeah. talking about Paul Goldschmidt's second half surge. Yeah, he's had, he's been good for a month and a half. Like, that's great. It's better than the alternative, but this isn't some like all-star yeah. break, like, like surge. Like, no, he was also bad for for much of the the second half until you know until just recently so there's there's going to be some spin going on here we'll, we'll try to cut through it i'm encouraged not so much by goldschmidt like i'm not going to sit there and say well he's playing so good now the cardinals have to bring him back no i don't feel that way i'm encouraged by some of the young guys what we've seen from a luke and baker the way mason Wynn has just churned along he's un, undisturbed by what goes on around him continues to produce these are the guys who if this team does make a pivot toward its youth for next season and beyond. These guys are getting some valuable reps. Jordan Walker is, is, is being Jordan Walker again. I mean, these are encouraging signs that maybe if they do have to make a pivot, it's not gonna be years in the wilderness. Um, that's kind of where I'm at, and I'm not gonna sit here and tell folks to get very excited about 1%. I mean, you're not, you're, so you're saying there's a chance, as, as we both love the movie Dumb and Dumber. Um, there is until there isn't, but it's not a good one. No, and I think they wisely, the Cardinals wisely decided, hey, let's play for next year. Uh, let's give Tommy Pham a chance to play for something for real. Um, you know, let's cut some payroll by letting a, a relief pitcher go that perhaps could have proved useful. Um, but it was part of just looking forward, and this is what they need to do. And, and the good news is, to your point, when you see a guy take good at bats like Luke and Baker, is there a future here? I don't know, but at least you're learning more about him. He's taking some good at bats in some tough situations. You're getting Siani back to see whether he's legit, and he, again, he has a great at bat in a key situation. So. Yeah, you're finding some things out, and you want to finish on a better note. And it does make your offseason somewhat less complicated, perhaps, uh, in terms of how much change there's going to be. You know, that remains to be seen. But a lot of people have a lot to gain by playing well these last few weeks. And it's not just, hey, Michael Ciani came back and made a game-winning catch nearly and then found a way to win the game with the bat. And then what do you do with Victor Scott? This is also can be a good thing if you're going to move on from some of these guys. If you've got these guys playing well down the stretch, maybe you get something where you can talk and, and negotiate some trades this offseason. Um, the league has got a chance to see what Michael Ciani can do. You still obviously are high on the future of Victor Scott. If you do go down the road of a Goldschmidt reunion, it's not a path I would take, but we know how the Cardinals can factor in emotion into some of their thinking on these things. Luke and Baker has now had a chance to show the league, hey, he's not just a triple-A hitter. He's had some success at the major league, so maybe now his value is a little bit higher. So it does give the Cardinals maybe some options to, to have some conversations with other teams about what they're looking to add, specifically probably on, on the pitching side. So there is some real positives to take here, Gordo, from the way they played. I'm just not going to sit there and tell people, hey, you know, get fired up, here comes the playoff run. Now, I will say this. You know, you don't have a ton of faith, faith in the New York Mets, and they are ahead of the Cardinals in the wild card chase. Um, it's getting late early, but the Cardinals do have now the softer stretch of their schedule to finish things out. So they've got to continue to take care of their business, but really they need multiple teams on, in front of them to catch on fire and burn. That's, that's really what it's yeah. going to take. It's going to take light, double lightning strikes ahead of them in the wild card chase. Their fate is no longer in their own hands, and it hasn't been for some time. Yeah, you know, it just you just want to avoid a total collapse, okay? So with the lower de expectations here in terms of goal setting, now you're just trying to avoid a total collapse, and I think there's a chance they'll do that. 
then what happens for next year and all that? That's what we'll have more discussions here on Inside Pitch. Yeah, totally. I think everybody's waiting around to see what direction the Cardinals want to take after this season. And I don't blame them. They're not going to air that until the season's over. And they may not know yet right now what that plan is. I would imagine they're, they're thinking along those same lines. So as we wait and see, we'll see what these guys who are getting opportunities to play can continue to do, whether their future's here or somewhere else. A little positivity, but not going to pump the sunshine about those standings and that postseason chance. For Jeff Gordon, I'm Ben Fredrickson. We'll talk to you next time here on Inside Pitch. <laughs>